Introducing Boris Soundbite, an exciting search tool for Final Cut Pro users, providing a fast and accurate tool for locating footage based on the spoken dialogue within your content. Using Nexidia's patented, award-winning phonetic search technology, Boris Soundbite brings powerful features to Final Cut Pro at a surprisingly low cost. For this example, I'm using a documentary I cut about the 14 female U.S. Senators in 2007 called 14 Women, directed by Mary Lambert. Like most documentary projects, there were hundreds of hours of interviews and unscripted footage that needed to be logged and transcribed before any kind of storytelling could take place. If we had been able to use Boris Soundbite at the time, I think it would have paid for itself in the first hour of post-production. Here's how it works. The first step is to launch Boris Soundbite. Soundbite can be used to index and search files at the Finder level, independently of Final Cut Pro, but it can also be paired with a Final Cut Pro project. Once the Soundbite window is open, you can choose to add a watched folder or a Final Cut Pro project, either by dragging it from the Finder and dropping it in the sidebar, or by using the Add menu in the lower left corner of the window. At that point, you can choose the language to be used for indexing and whether to analyze a mix of all available audio channels or just a few specific ones. Click OK and Soundbite goes to work. When you index a Final Cut Pro project, Final Cut outputs XML of the project in order to share project metadata and file locations with Soundbite. Indexing is actually faster than real time and once Final Cut Pro has output the XML, you can even continue working in FCP while Soundbite indexes in the background. Searching your media for words is as simple as searching a text document. Let's say I'm playing a sequence in Final Cut Pro. Committee, would you consider going on it? And okay, what was that? We need to change the image of the Judiciary Committee. What if I'm looking for a soundbite related to Judiciary Committee? At the menu bar at the top of the screen is a soundbite search menu. I can simply type in the word committee. I don't even have to spell it accurately. As long as it's close phonetically, soundbite will come up with results. Soundbite rates the accuracy of the search results by giving each result a score. By choosing a lower number from this score pop-up menu, like 60, Soundbite will not display any results scoring lower than 60%. Notice I have a lot more hits here. On the other side of the spectrum, I can choose to tolerate only results that are 90% accurate or above. In some cases, spelling the word differently can make a difference. Once I have a result in the search window, I can preview it by selecting it and pressing the space bar or double clicking it to open the preview window. Committee Democrats from plunging right in with tough questions on Thomas's views. As you can see by the results in the preview window, as well as the hits column in the search results, the first clip has numerous instances, or five hits, for the search term committee. There are on-screen controls in the preview window for navigating between hits and from clip to clip. By clicking the last next speech hit button, I can jump back and forth between these markers in the preview window. And I can do this in real time while I'm playing. If I click last or next result, I can jump from clip to clip. And I realize that the with this first one, where there are numerous hits in the same clip, you can press the right and left arrow keys to jump between hits, or use the up and down arrows on your keyboard to jump between clips. Here's a brief demonstration of how I might preview these search results using my arrow keys. The committee Democrats from the committee Democrats. I'm just tapping the right arrow key. The committee actually to move from one hit to the next. First glimpse into a committee have much to answer for. Now the down arrow key to jump to a new clip. Left arrow key to jump back to a hit I just heard. Committees and behave committees and behave like senators. 
When the time comes to use a clip in Final Cut Pro, there are numerous export options. You can even mark an in and out point on the clip and click the Export New Clip button. In the dialog, you can choose the project and even the bin that it's going to export to. I could type the original name, but I think I'll just type Committee. And there's my Committee clip in the Final Cut Pro project. And there's that marked in and out point that I chose in Soundbite, as well as the marker that reads Committee. Even better, perhaps, the markers that appear under the browser clips can be double clicked and loaded into the viewer as subclips. Committee assignments and just my representation. Combined searches allow you to use multiple search words or phrases. I can add a second term, judiciary. As always, dialing up the score will give you fewer, more accurate results, but I find that leaving the score set to the default 75% works pretty well for most situations. The Judiciary Committee Democrats. Judiciary Committee, any committee. Others are the Judiciary Committee Democrats from the Judiciary Committee room for the hearing of his life. So you can see how quickly I can find all sorts of associated clips using one or more search terms. Now since these all have either Judiciary or Committee in them, I can select all the clips, and then when I click the Export New Clip button, I can just type in one common name, like Judiciary Committee, save it to my Boris Soundbites bin, and Soundbite exports them to Final Cut Pro via XML. As you can see, the clips all start with the common name, but have been sequentially numbered. When a clip contains hits from more than one search term, the markers are color-coded just as they were in Soundbite. Another way to control your searching is to use other attributes besides the phonetic signature. The pop-up menu under Other Attributes allows you to search specific Final Cut Pro columns for metadata. For example, I could search for text in the Log Note column, and now only clips with phonetic hits that also contain certain text in the log note column will be shown in the search results. For metadata fields like endpoint or duration, you can use search for time code above or below a certain value. The possibilities are pretty extensive. But wait, as the man said, there's more. Because my favorite feature in Soundbite, and the one I think that you're most going to use, is the ability to export these markers back to the original Final Cut Pro clips. It's faster, and avoids creating extra clips in your project. So you basically are just adding the Soundbite markers to your existing master clips and metadata. In just a couple days of using Soundbite, I feel like I'm already reanalyzing the entire task of logging and annotating footage in Final Cut Pro. Judiciary Command. It was one of the best things I've done. By previewing in Soundbite, I can actually type in a whole phrase. One of the best things I've done. Add back the committee search term. And in this case, we have three different words or phrases, and they each get a different colored marker. So now when I export the markers a second time, again, they go back to the same master clip. Now in this case, I don't see my green marker, but I find if you just delete all the markers, and go back to Soundbite, and export the markers again, see now you see all three colored markers have been exported to my clip. You can also save any search, and it becomes a smart search you can access from in Soundbite, or back in Final Cut Pro, click the Soundbite pull-down menu and choose the smart search from the pop-up. And any new clips that have been added will show up in that search as well. Believe it or not, this only scratches the surface of the many interactive possibilities between Soundbite and Final Cut Pro. For more information, visit www.borisfx.com. I'm Steve Kanner. Thanks for listening.